Hey, it's Paul from howtoplaybass.com. This is another in our lesson of tutorials for beginners. This is Teddy Bear by Elvis Presley. Like the previous Elvis ones that I did, it's got a very strong quarter note pulse. So it's perfect for beginners because the quarter note pulse pretty much goes throughout the tune. The only rhythmic thing you have to watch out for are the there's stops on the downbeat and then the quarter note pulse resumes. So it really frees you of having to think about the rhythm when you're learning and playing this and you can just concentrate on the notes and then concentrate on the combination of left hand and right hand techniques. Now I teach that kind of thing, combinations of left hand and right hand techniques in the len through the lens of real world songs in a series of progressively more complex real world songs in a course I've developed for beginners. There's a link underneath this video and if you click over there, check it out, you'll get some more details. Um, that sounds like it might be, of in uh, might be of interest to you, go and do that. Otherwise we'll start with the tutorial and we'll look at the verse format for Teddy Bear. Okay, you just heard the verse format for Teddy Bear, um, standard kind of 12 bar with what's called a 2 minor 5 7 uh, turnaround in the first two bars of the turnaround, and we'll come to that in a minute, that'll be D minor and G7. Um, first two bars are in C, and we're going to play this pattern. Standard walking pattern, blues kind of pattern, um, I'm sure you're very familiar with C, E, G, A, C, A. G, E. And note location C is the 8th fret of the E string, E and G, 7th and 10th of the A string, A and octave C, 7th and 10th of the D string, back to A at the 7th, back to G and E, 10th and 7th of the A string. So slowly. Okay, the next two bars are almost identical. Start with C, E, G, a up to the octave C, but on the way down we're going to grab the B flat, eighth flat of the um, D string. Then we're going to go to G and E, tenth and seventh frets of the A string. Next three bars we're going to play this pattern, which is F A C D. F's the eighth fret of the A string, A and C seventh and tenth frets of the. D string and the D is the seventh fret of the G string. Now, if that pattern sounds familiar, if you've looked at the previous Elvis tutorial that I did, which was Heartbreak Hotel, we used that pattern in the guitar solo section of that tune, although it was in E rather than F. Very common kind of bluesy uh, rock and roll kind of pattern, um, so you can use that pattern in all sorts of things. So we play that for three bars, and then we're going to repeat this pattern, but we're going to play it in C. So we're playing C, E, G, A. Um, so the first four, that's um, effectively the first four notes of the two bar pattern that we play. So you should have the note locations, but eighth fret of the E string, seventh and tenth of the A string, seventh of the D string. Then we've got this two five turnaround that I talked about. First one is, first chord of that is D minor. We're gonna drop down to the fifth fret of the A string for D, play D, E, F, F sharp, so 5th, 7th, 8th, 9th of the A string, and then on the G7 chord, we're going to stab on beat 1 of that on the G, the 10th fret of the A string, and then we're just going to play the pattern, 2 bar pattern in C, that goes from C to A, not C to B flat, and that's the verse format. I'll play that verse format without the, um, without the backing track, so you can just make sure you've got it right. Second time, remember, we're going to go on B flat, then we go up to F, repeat this pattern three times, then down to C, down to D minor, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the basic verse pattern um, that's used in the tune. We'll go on and look at the section where the lyric is, I don't want to be a tiger because tigers 
roar too much or whatever the tigers do that's too much. Um, that's the next section, it's kind of like a bridge. Um, 10 bar section, we'll go and look at that. Okay, you just saw the 10 bar section for the bridge with the backing track. Basically, this is made up of a two bar pattern that's repeated four times. So we're going to play four Fs, eighth fret of the A string, then we're going to play that pattern. Now that's what's called a major triad. Most people will play a major triad like that. Um, but this time I'm playing it in this position so I don't have to move out of position for this F. So I'm playing G, 10th fret of the A string, B, the major third, I'm playing at the 9th fret of the D string, and then the 5th, which is D, the 7th fret of the G string. So that pattern repeats another three times. After the fourth time you've played through that two bar pattern, then you just go back to C and play C, E, G, A, C. Um, and then you stab on that C, and then the next part of the tune comes in, which is a verse. Now, the way the format of the song works, we only need one more section, and that's kind of the outro verse. And essentially, it's almost identical to the verse, and then there's a tag on the end to give us the ending. So let's go and look at that section so you can learn that and complete the song. Okay, you just saw the last verse with the tag on it for the ending. Now, the first part of that, the majority of this, is identical to what you've already played. So I'll just play through this um, slowly to where we then pick up and I need to show you the variation. So it starts off, we've got the pattern in C, the two bar pattern with the variation on the fourth bar to B flat. Then we're up to F, play that four note pattern in F, then play that four note pattern in C, then down to D minor, and that stab on G. And now from here, this is where the pattern changes slightly, we've got some variation. So the next two bars, we're gonna play the pattern in C, but as we come down, we're gonna play C, A in the normal place, then we're gonna play G, E at the fifth and second frets of the D string. So we're gonna, um, instead of playing, that kind of pattern in one location, we're going to play, we're going to shift down and play that, and that allows us to then play the pattern in G, but at low, this is the, the kind of the tag, so we're going to play G, B, D, E, G is the third fret of the E string, B the second fret of the A string, D the fifth fret of the A string, E the second fret of the D string, then we're going to play G, A, G sharp, B, fifth fret of the D string for G, second, third, fourth for of the G string for A, A sharp and B. Then we're going to play C, A, G, E. Um, fifth and second of the G string, fifth and second of the D string. Then we're going to play C, E, C, E and stab on C. And that's where the uh, tutorial ended. In the original there's like a vocal thing over there and then there's a pause and then everyone plays a big C chord. Um, C and E, third and second frets of the A and D strings respectively. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk up from the D minor and just play this section slowly so you can see it. So position shift, down to G. the end of the tune apart from that big chord. 
So you can put those sections together and you can play through the entire tune. Um, as I said in the intro to the video, it's another good one for beginners based on the quarter note pulse. So um, not too difficult rhythmically. There's no tricky rhythms to really get your head around so you can concentrate and focus on the notes and the left hand, right hand coordination. And as I said in the intro, if you're interested in a course that deals with all this stuff, taught through the lens of 30 or so real world songs then click the link underneath the video and um, head over to the page and check that out um, and i'll see you either there or i'll see you in the next tutorial